Hello again. Uh, today I want to talk to you about one of Reaper's hidden gems, and that is uh, Rhea Chun. Um, I want to talk to you today about a fantastic uh, piece of kit that comes with, with Reaper that I have to admit for the first year I didn't even realise existed. I'll show you the reason why I didn't even, ever get it. But when we open up the, the screen at first, to me it just looked like a guitar tuner. And that's what I assumed it was and never went near it, never thought about it until I saw some videos online about it which there aren't that many so anyway a friend of mine's been asking for some advice on, on how to use this um, so I thought I'd do a video myself and go through the settings I use and some of the things that kind of make it a bit easier now this is a guitar tuner you can have your guitar plugged in here and, and tune your guitar and it'll sort it out very nicely but with these next two tabs you have the correction settings which is auto tune basically i mean it's how you can set whatever key you want so you can have automatic pitch correction so it'll detect if you set what key or whatever and it'll detect it and correct it automatically or you can have manual correction which is the one that i prefer to use but before we get into that if we come back to this correction tab uh, this attack time setting down here at the bottom um is usually best set. I set it to 50 to start with. If that's too quick and you get a little bit of a too bit robotics, I move up to about 75. But around that area, if you play around with it, depends what effect you want. If you want that robotic effect, then speed it up, you know, make it 25 or whatever. But I don't want that for this. I just want some nice gentle correction. And I just want to correct a couple of notes. That's all I'm wanting to do here. So I'm not, you know, that's why I don't want to use the automatic pitch correction. I mean, I'll switch it on and we'll run through this vocal that I've got here. So this I used in my last video and I showed you with the vocal line plugin. So if we run, if we play this, you'll see it correcting it automatically here. I have no idea what key this song's in. So I'll just, I'll leave it at the achromatic and we'll see what happens. I've never felt so good in all of my life. I didn't think that I could pull myself out of it when stuff goes wrong. You can hear it. it it's a little bit, I don't know. I, I, that to me isn't a natural way of tuning. I'm sure if you played around with the different algorithms, there's all sorts of different algorithms in here. Um, you know, I'm sure you'll find something, but I prefer just to stick with the default. Set that to 50 to start with. Then go over to manual correction. Actually, we'll just untick the automatic pitch correction. And then what we'll do is we'll tick manual correction and as you'll notice it automatically ticked track pitch okay so what we'll do um we'll play a few bars up to where i really want to uh, correct the notes and we'll see what we've got so if i hit play i've never felt so good in all of my life i didn't think that i could Pull myself out of it when stuff goes wrong And times are hard Look to that beacon of light Just the love you got in your heart is enough so Okay, that's enough for what I want to work with So what we'll do, we have to straight away switch off the track pitch okay so now it will not try to track the pitch anymore it will just work with what we've already scanned in so we play it and i'll just show you very quickly how this works this is not going to be a very in-depth video i just want to again like the last one make you aware of this and give you some rough guidelines to get you started i've never felt so good in all of my life I 
So there is the first one that was that good as you heard it really went quite low so if we play it from here oh God. what you do is a simple left click and drag and you create this little line so now I can just put that on whatever note I want and that will dictate what note gets sung here so we'll listen now oh God. I could even just exaggerate it so you can hear oh God going lower there but I just wanted to get rid of this dip that's here so, oh God. so we go a bit further back I felt so good. now if I switch this out I felt so good. I felt so good. it just smooths out that pitch there a little bit so if we in all of my life, I didn't think that I could pull myself out of it. When stuff now that was the one in particular that I wanted to attend to. So I think she goes a little bit too low there. So again, just left click and drag to create my little bar. Pull it up to where I think it should be. Self out of it. When it's a little too high. Self out of it. When stuff goes wrong, myself out of it. When stuff goes wrong. It's better. I mean, these kind of thing, you, you're going to have to play around with some settings and find. I mean, it helps if you know what the actual key the song is in. But if we unsolo her now, and what I'll do is I'll just play that little section there by the, just before the note I want. I'll switch off the, the tuner. We'll play it in the track. I'll have to switch my mic off solo. Because I mean, again, you gotta do these things always within the track. All right, solo out the vocal, find your notes, but then ch check it within the track again because you'll find that you know things fit a lot better. So if we play it without the auto tune on just now. I'll bring her up a little bit so you can hear it a little bit better. Play that again. You could really hear that that note was too low that she hit. So let's switch it in and we'll play it again. It's still not quite right, is it? Let's get a bit drastic with it and see what happens. It's kind of getting there. It's not quite. I mean, this is just a case of finding the right note. You know, possibly messing around with the speed here, possibly a little too fast. So we put it up to the 75, which I do sometimes. And we'll try You get the idea. So I would just mess around. It helps if you know the key. Now, to be honest with you, with a track, a, a, a note like that, that's so far out like that, I would either try to find another note, a word, the same that was in better tune in the track, or, you know, best case scenario, get the singer to re-sing it. But in this case, that's just not a possible option. So I'm trying to kind of, you know, find the best solution that I can but I just wanted to take the opportunity and show you how this works show you the kind of usual kind of settings that I use with attack times you know the manual correction and how it how it all works I mean it, for those of you that use the the professional grade auto tune you you should know this screen because it, they have a very similar thing in that so there you go thanks for watching hope it's useful see you in the next one cheers folks bye